Welcome back to Bridgeport Games. I'm Tom, and today we're going to take you through the quests and how you can get yourself the mythical Pokemon Fion, Manaphy, Darkrai, and Shaman in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Before we jump in, I would just ask that if you like the content that we're putting out on the channel, that you consider subscribing to the channel as well. Leave the video a like and comment on what content you would like to see to help you with your playthrough. So, we're going to jump in here and get started. We're going to start off with the Pokemon Darkrai. And for Darkrai, you do need to have saved data from either Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl on your Switch. So once you do, you're going to be able to go into the professor's office in the headquarters and grab this request off the board, number 93. Immediately, it is going to go to a cutscene where a member of the Pearl Clan is going to tell you all about the Pokemon Darkrai, a little bit cryptically, uh, but it is going to tell us where it resides or where it has been spotted. That is in the Coronet Highlands. So we are going to fly over to the Coronet Highlands, and immediately when we land, this is already going to be marked on our mini-map. So the Clamberclaw Cliffs are right there, right near this camp. However, what we're going to need to do first is swing over to our tent. In order to prompt this battle, it is going to be, need to be nightfall. So take a short nap into the nighttime, and then you will be able to get this battle. It's a pretty short flight, so we're just going to jump on our Braviary, and we are just going to swing right around this hill here and then into these cliffs, and it is immediately going to prompt a little cutscene here where we see Darkrai show up behind us. It's going to show up behind us on the other side, and then it is going to pop up and surprise us. Uh, when it does, we're also going to see a wisp in the distance that we need to get after this battle. Uh, but now starts the fun. So this kind of starts the prompt, and Darkrai is now going to just show up and disappear. It's also able to hit you and it hits pretty hard uh, so be kind of careful when you're dodging now in order to get it to engage in battle you're going to need to time right when it um, kind of lets off its little dark aura there and it took me a little bit of time not too bad uh, you know a bunch of throws uh, to try and line it up and get it to engage in battle uh, once you are able to, it took a few more here, it looks like, boom, there we go. And now we immediately see it's pretty fast and it's level 70. I foolishly brought a Zoroark to this uh, battle. I didn't sort out my team as we see here. Feel free to roast me in the comments. Um, I did not sort out my team before I ran after this dark rise. So... Uh, I bring out a little Togepi here um, and immediately just start chucking a, an Ultra Ball. I kind of realized that uh, my team was a little bit limited in this battle, so my best option was just to kind of go for it. Um, and I got kind of lucky here. It, it hits me with a move that drops my stats, uh, but it didn't actually hit me with a move. So Dark Void is going to drop my stats, and then I am going to realize that I want to see if I can catch it in a Dark Ball because uh, it's just kind of matches and so I throw a gigaton ball at it and I am actually able to catch it it was the second ball that I threw at it uh, so this actually was a pretty simple catch I would recommend if you are going to go after this quest probably not to bring as uh, as weak of a team as I brought here we see it is a level 70 and it hits pretty hard so just make sure that when you do go after this Pokemon you are in good shape but it is going to prompt the cutscene back to Cal uh, who is going to finish off the legend and give you the completion. Next up is going to be a token of gratitude, and this is going to be the quest to get Shaman. And in order to unlock this quest, you're going to need to have save data from Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. 
you are going to get it in the same way that you got Darkrai at the blackboard in the professor's office. We're going to go to the Obsidian Fieldlands and immediately talk to this uh, person, Medi, who is standing kind of on the corner of the camp, at the very front of the camp. They're going to go through a little bit of a cutscene. They're going to give you a Grisadia flower, and they're going to tell you about a Pokemon that gifted them this flower. Um, ultimately, they are telling you to go over here into the flora gardens over here to the right so just jump on the braviary and dart right over there it's really just kind of a hard right off the right hand side once you get out of the camp and you're going to fly over you see this grass patch i recommend dropping in very carefully here and then you are going to run into this field the first time you go into that field it's going to prompt another cutscene. Um, once that cutscene is over i'm going to recommend you drop a hard save that being because shaman is a little bit of a pain it's a squirmy little little fellow and um, if you are unable to get it into the ball so it, we see here i, I kind of cut through a few different balls that i threw at it and the first time that I did go after it, you see here, it actually runs away um, and disappears. And there's a bunch of dust cocks around too that you gotta be careful of not engaging. If you do miss out on it and you didn't drop a hard save, like I didn't the first time I, I did this, all you need to do is exit the Obsidian Fieldlands, go back to Jubilife City, and then come back once again. Once you re-enter the Obsidian Fieldlands, then it is going to respawn the Shaman. And for myself, who's a little bit on the colorblind side, this one can be a little bit tough um, to try and see it through um, those flowers in there. And you see, I kind of get close on this time and just kind of keep launching uh, the, the Pokeballs right at it like as soon as possible, but it does squirm away um, pretty quickly as soon as it, it gets out. So um, it may take you a few tries to, to complete this. It's really just about um, continuing to uh, throw those Pokeballs at it in here. Um, this time we did have a hard save, so I would be able to reset if needed, uh, but we are able to catch it in this run. Once you catch it, then it is going to go back to a little bit of a cutscene and it's going to finish that off and give you the completion mark on the token of gratitude. Last up, we need to solve the Seas Legend for Fiona and Manaphy. And to do that, we've got to go over to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl to get a book in the library this is something that was added in i think it's pretty cool what we're going to do is go up to the library in the second floor and we are going to dance with the librarian here for a second and then we're going to make our way over the shelf the book called the sea's legend is a tech it shows us really what we need to know east sea um and we do want to keep reading we need to bring a man a boo weasel and a quill fish with big spikes um, uh, together we are going to go and um, set off in the boat and we're going to sail through the sea's gate. Essentially, um, this is just the riddle. You don't actually have to go into Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl at all for this. It's just uh, how you solve the riddle. So uh, before we set off for that quest, I'm going to recommend that you swing over here to the crafting station. If you haven't already, we're going to want to purchase the sticky globs uh, crafting. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of these using the spoiled apricorns and caster ferns and balls of mud. And what we're going to do here, we'll see these come into play in a little bit. We're able to just craft like 40 of them right off the bat. And uh, this is going to help complete uh, this quest. So we're gonna swing over here again. We wanna go over to where the East Sea is. And in order for us to be able to prompt this, it's going to need to be evening time. So we're just gonna take a little nap in the tent 
and we are going to get to evening time we see it jump on the old braviary and we are just going to dart out now we see there in the distance that is the sea's gate that this is referring to so in order to complete this task you must have a boo weasel a man tyke and the hisuian uh quillfish evolution uh, line in your party. All three of those Pokemon must be in your party at dusk um, and ride through that sea gate in order to um, prompt the next part of this mission. So once again, um, you do not have to go into Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl for this, uh, but in that library um, that was uh, strategically placed uh, to be a, a quest uh so i think that's actually pretty cool that they added that in there so we are on our basculin here we are riding through the gate with those three pokemon in our party and boom we get the cutscene. you heard something that sounded like a cry and now we are able to go over here this is just a continuation here still on the basculin uh we are going to um swing over and around that um big old hill there or mountain there and we're just going to keep riding keep riding um all the way down pretty close um to the shoreline there um and it's going to be up here on the left once again, similar to with the Shaman, um, I recommend a hard save here uh, because this is going to be something that may take you a couple tries as well. Um, so we'll get into um, kind of this battle with them um, here. But first, again, we'll show you right where we are on the location. Um, we're going to drop down a hard save. And now we're going to go into this cave. When we go into this cave, it is going to uh, prompt, again, a little bit of a cutscene. Um, and then we are going to see Manaphy and Fion, three different Fions. Now you can catch all three of them, but if you catch Manaphy, then the quest stops. So you're going to want to catch the Fion first. Now on this first run that we're seeing here, I was not successful at all. Um, this was the first time I tried it, and you can see I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm not throwing them correctly. I've got my stuff out of whack and I end up just not having a good time of it and they're ultimately going to knock me out um, so I'll save you the rest of that uh, but I come back in and now we're going to see the success so I am going to um, again you got to hit them with these sticky globs and when you stun them with the sticky globs then boom you can throw an ultra ball right down and you can catch it now i do make a mistake here and i accidentally throw it at the manaphy um the the pokeball at the manaphy but i didn't catch it luckily um that turn so i was able to catch another fion um and then we are going to recognize that we don't want the Manaphy yet. We want to go after the Fion uh, so that we catch them all. Now, if you don't catch them all, you can come back into this cave later on and you will be able to re-engage um, this battle. However, it is at a pretty low rate, so it may be an octillery in here as well, uh, but uh, you can eventually kind of repopulate this. Um, my recommendation here, if you do want them all, is really to just make sure you reset and try to um, prompt it to get them all. So once you do, uh, then you need to just report back to the professor um, to share that information. The professor is going to just tell you, good job. Um, and then you are going to get the completion for the C's legend as well as three comment shards. So that's going to do it for this video on how to get these mythical Pokemon Shaman, Darkrai, Fion, and Manaphy. And I hope this really helped everyone out. Until uh, next time, I'm Tom for Bridge 4 Games, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah!